Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. This is lecture 29 of the C programming tutorials. In this module, we will learn how to read data from a flat file. So, now what I'll do is to illustrate this, I'll go to my D drive and uh, I'll create a new folder. So, right click on this, new folder, and I'll give the name as content. You can give any folder name, I'm just giving content. Right click on this new text file, I'm creating a text file and I'll give the name as hello. Now I'm not seeing the file extension for this although I don't see the file extension if I right click on this see the properties the file name is hello.txt so if I want to see the file extension what I have to do is click on view go to options change folder and search options so remember this is in Windows 10 if you have Windows 7 it will be a little different way but still you can do it so view options change folder and search options again go to view and uh, you can see here hide extensions for known file types I just need to uncheck this already this was checked and I'm just doing unchecking this click apply and click OK now I can see that I'm seeing the file extension so now what I'll do is in this file I'll write here um, dear student this is your trainer and I'm writing my name and uh, my email and uh, to add any content to this course to this course please write uh, to me and I'm writing here now I just wrote some uh, some seven lines of uh, seven lines here now I'll save it and i save it now what I'll do is I'll write a C program to read this to read this data from this file and display it in the console window. So let's get started. Now to do that let me open code blocks and now I just open code blocks. Remember this is uh, module number 29 right this is module 29. Now file new empty file and save it. So I'm just saving this as uh, 29 dot read data from file dot C now I'm, I saved it as read data from file dot C now as usual we'll write here include stdio dot h and wide main and what we need to do here is I need to uh, read data from the file so what I have to do is I need to write file and uh, there is a file I need to create a pointer which will address to the first location of the file. So file star fp this is a variable this is how we need to declare. Now what I need to do is fp is equal to file pointer I just gave it as fp open the file f open and what's the location so I need to mention the location of the file so I'll do that and I need to read the data for reading data you need to give r for writing data you have to give as w now what I'll do is, what is the path of my file? Here is my path, here is the path of the file. So let me copy this. Hello.txt is the file name. So uh, uh, D drive slash slash. It is uh, content, folder name is content. So you remember you need to give two slashes because the slash uh, is to give escape sequence, right? For C language. If you give one slash, it'll think a slash C like it's an escape sequence slash n slash here like that so you need to give double slash so that your uh, compiler understands that you want to have slash so and one more slash and what's the file name the file name is hello.txt now we have giving um, fp is equal to open the file from this path and I want to read the data now what I need to do is if the pointer if fp equal to null that means it's unable to read the file if fp equal to null so just mention the message saying like uh, printf printf unable to unable to read the data from file now if you are able to read if you are able to get the pointer address here so what you have to do is else that means fp is not null that means we find we found the file else take the first character ch is equal to um, uh, file get character f get c so that's a file get character 
and from the address from uh, FP. So now what it'll do is, so this will get the character from the stream, this will get the first character and store it into CH. Now we need to loop through character by character. So while CH, we need to write uh, not equal to end of file. UIF is an indication that it has reached the end of file. And now I just need to print this. So each character I have to print, print F, percentile C comma CH. And after printing the character, take the next character. CH is equal to F get C. FP. So that's it. And once we are done with the looping uh, complete loop, we just need to close it. F close FP. So we are done. So this is how we need to write a simple C program. So and before closing the main method, you can just put get CH. So that's it. We are done with uh, reading data from the file. I repeat once again, you need to create an object uh, pointer object of this file and fp is equal to f open, give the location of the file, including double slash as you have to give for single slash, you have to give double slash. And r indicates, okay, I just, I forgot to give one more slash, double quotes. So now r indicates that it's a read mode. And in case if you want to write into the file, which you are going to see in the next module, so you have to give as a w, write mode. And if fp equal to null, that means the file not found, we're getting the, ad we are not getting the address. So you have to print unable to find, uh, unable to read the data from the file, else, Else you can write, uh, take the first character and loop through until you reach end of file and print the character. And once you're done, close the, uh, close the file pointer and get ch in other editors uh, where you can see the output. So let's see if it works, I'll save it. And this is how you need to read data from the file. So, and build it. So now I got an error, uh, ch undeclared. So let's see here, okay, I didn't declare ch. I missed to declare it, char ch. Now let's save it and build it and uh, and just a second we're getting F okay F get C sorry that's wrong typing mistake it is F get C file get C not get CH so let's save it and build it and get CH okay get CH is present in conaiva.h let's add that as well include conaiva.h done so save it and uh, build it. So you can see no errors. Let's run the code. So you can see here whatever content that I've written in in the text file, I'm seeing it here. This student. So we are reading this. Um, we are reading this data through a, through a program uh, using C language. So from this file, we're reading the data and displaying in the console window. So that's what we needed. So what we have seen now is we have seen how to read data from file using C program. And remember, by mistake, if you put something wrong here, let's take, you wrote double O here, and the file name is wrong. So obviously it will not be able to find this path and it will be null, so it will print unable to read the file. See here now, let's build it, no errors, let's run this. It's showing unable to read the file. So you have to ensure that you give the right path, otherwise it will not be able to find. And this R is an attribute for reading the file, reading from the file. The same thing you can use it if you want to write into the file, which you are going to see in the next module. Right. So as usual, if you want to get uh, if you want to get this code, uh, all you have to do is so let's um, I'll just upload this. So let me upload this uh, in in my GitHub. Right. So upload files and choose your file and go to um, go to D drive, my C programs and select lecture twenty nine dot C and it got uploaded commit changes. So all you have to do is, you just need to type the URL to download the files. All you have to do is, let me type the URL. So all you have to do is, uh, https, https colon slash slash github.com slash, you can see in the URL current backside browser, magnath slash c. So all you have to do is, you type this URL and, uh, and you can actually go to this. You can see here, this is the URL and you can actually download the files that you want and you can practice it, right? So I hope you are clear how to write a program to read a data from the file uh, using C program. fgetc is used to get a character, character by character from the file stream and this is how we declare a variable which will point to a file and this is how we give the address of the file, path of the file. So that's all for now and see you in the next module. Thank you.